I just pulled the door panel off to put that lock rod back on. I don't think that lock rod was ever on from the day it was new, but I was very careful not to tear the paper so I can put it all back and put some new stuff on there to read here. But I wanted to just show how clean the inside of this door is. This door is absolutely mint. I think I'll run the vacuum through it real quick and lubricate the door latch mechanism. And uh, put it back together and call it good. This thing's really, really, there's the door latch, part of the door latch mechanism. I don't know if it shows up there or not, but the lock cylinder where it comes through the door and where the rod connects. That little clip was on the rod. The rod was not in the hole when I pulled the lock cylinder out. I didn't have to disconnect that. So I suspect that, that was never installed from day one, which, you know, back in the, that era, wasn't uncommon to find things like that. But the key works the lock now like it should. So I throw the door panel back on and while the door panel is off I'm going to clean that where the armrest goes right here and uh, polished up all the window cranks and the release handle. I think I'll pull all the window cranks off and polish them all up. They look like brand new. So, just a little bit of going on here, what I'm doing. And uh, so let me throw this back together, clean, do a little cleaning here. Um, I took the armrest off this. I'm going to take this and give it a good scrubbing too. So, yeah, looking good. Well, I got the paper back on and in place. That is so rare to find that still intact and not, or not completely rotten. Usually, first time somebody pulls the door panel is our history. And uh, people just don't take care in removing them to keep them in one piece. So that's like ultra rare to find that paper still intact. It goes into a little drip channel here so when water rains in it hits this paper and runs into the door instead of buckling the door panel so removing the window cranks you need this special tool I'll show you what it does so on these cranks handles there's a little horseshoe clip and you always come in from the handle side and usually there's a little plastic thing between the crank and the door panel. So you got to shove your tool in between that plastic and the crank. And it clips on that little horseshoe clip there and pushes it back. And then the window crank will come off. You can see how that's pushed back. To put them back on, you just push them back forward with your finger. So. I'm going to go around and after I get this door together and pull window cranks off the other do places, the door, front driver's door in the rear, polish them up too. I mean, look at that. That looks like brand new. It's amazing. 57 years old and they still look like new. Okay, I finished cleaning up all the door handles and I put them all back on and I put them all on and I did the whole car, all the door handles on the whole car and I did them all so that like those ones face the rear when the window's up so I guess nobody catches clothing getting in and out of the back seat when they're up. When they're down they face forward but when they're up they face back so I'm gonna and I did all the door handles so they match on the whole car. Nothing more annoying so when all the windows are up, all the door handles are in the same place. And the reason why I put the door handles like this, and this is the way a lot of the cars are, they're out of your 
away from your knee, your knee doesn't hit the crank, you know, you just don't hit the cranks and yet you can easily put the window down. See, that's the window down and your knee, knee can bump it, but you can always just do that. But I like the window cranks when the windows are up to be out of the way and all the same on the whole car. Maybe I'm anal, but I just think it looks a little better when you do that. So, what a difference. And I cleaned up behind where the armrest is. Cleaned that little white mark off the door panel. And, uh, looks good. Tom saw Ray. Ray was the guy I bought the car from. And Tom saw him the other day. Tom's the one that told me about the car. And Ray gave Tom some more pictures. These were the two original photos I saw of the car right here. And uh, that was the one and that was the other. Then I got, this was the towing company that Ray used to tow the car from Gladwin back to their tow yard in New Haven. Um, there it is in the, in the barn. Here are the guys hooking it up, the chains to pull it out. Yeah, it's pretty dirty there, isn't it? Pretty messy looking car. And here he is hooking the chain on the axle to drag it out. You notice there's no fuel tank there. Although I do have the original tank and it is back in the car. And there's the car on the back of the flatbed where it was towed to the tow yard where I went and got the original video from when I first saw the car. But um, you can see in this photo here the car it looked pretty filthy so yeah it looks a lot different in that photo. We'll go back here to that same corner. So I'm guessing he was kind of maybe about an angle like this. I'm kind of guessing, maybe a little less. I got the camera on more of a wide angle probably, but yeah, you can kind of see a difference in this and that. And uh, so the other photo that we'll do a comparison is this one. So here he is taking a picture, looks like pretty much all from the center of the rear under the car and I should have some light but it shows up pretty good so you can kind of see the difference there. We got a gas tank here in this photo there was no gas tank so that's kind of before, after Big difference there, huh? That was a lot of cleaning, a lot of work. I got filthy cleaning the underneath of this car off to paint it up, make it look decent on the undercarriage. And it really does look good on the underneath. And uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd share these pictures. And uh, I got the lock rod back on, but I think that was in yesterday's video. I did all that yesterday, so I'm hoping we don't get the snow they're predicting. It's snowing out right now, and uh, if we get the snow they we're predicting, I may not meet up with Ray on Sunday, but I promised Ray he was the guy I bought the car from. I promised him I'd take him for a ride in the car when I had it done, so... I pretty much will have it done other than the upholstery, and uh, so I'll take him for a ride in the car. And there was, if for some reason he didn't take any shots of the front of the car. And again, those were the original photos I saw of the car. So, anyway, yeah, it's interesting to get those photos, and uh, car definitely looks different here than what it did in those photos so um, everything's all coming along good I'm going to uh, pop off this 
emblem here in the next five minutes or so and polish that up, but this all works as it should now when you turn the key. The door locks and unlocks. And uh, so that's all good. And uh, I'll get a little video once I get that emblem polished up perhaps. Pretty easy removal. You just turn these off like regular nuts with a pair of pliers that are held on to those pins. So we'll get that polished up and back on and we'll get that cleaned up too while the emblem's off the body. So put it back on and it'll look nice. Alright, got the Catalina emblem all polished up. Looks really nice. Still has a few pits in the metal, but it's the original one, and it looks pretty darn good. I polished the other one when I had it off to paint the fender, so essentially as far as it goes, other than the front seat, I'd call the car pretty much all done. Um, nice shiny paint. And again, I'm going to try and meet up with Ray. He's the gentleman that I purchased the car from back in November. And... Uh, Take him for a ride in the car. Ask him why he stopped driving it. I've had a lot of people ask me why he stopped using it. Back when I purchased the car, he just indicated that gas was running up around a dollar a gallon and he had a little VW Beetle that he drove all the time. And uh, he said this car just wasn't as good on gas. And he eventually lost the keys to it, so maybe that was why. But I'm going to directly ask him. And... Uh, find a true answer to that question why he stopped using the car so anyway it looks a lot different from when I purchased it and from those photos I just did some video of I will uh, post a video of when I meet up with Ray um, if he's not camera shy I'll get some video of him of us riding in the car and I'm also going to start adding up all the bills and the time invested and uh, go over that in a video maybe next week one day. So again, thank you for watching my videos. I hope you enjoy them.